Welcome. Thank you for joining us today. We're going to go over a few features of our Ally Invest website. First, I'd like to introduce Sean Kuhn, our Senior Trading Manager and expert, who's going to show us a few of these features in our Ally Invest website. Thanks for the introduction, Marie. I'm happy to be here to help you navigate our website. Great. Let's take a look. First off, Sean, I love this look of the dark mode. How can I get my account to show in dark mode? Uh, good question. Uh, you'll notice here, whenever you see one of these uh, gears, that's telling you that the uh, segment of the website is customizable. So if you click the gear right here, you'll see that you can switch the theme uh, back and forth from dark to light. So this is the uh, light mode. That looks good too. And back to dark. And right here's the uh, dark mode that you were asking about. That's great. So first up, how do, much, how do I know how much buying power that I have if I want to place a trade? Good question, Marie. Uh, if you start right here, you'll see your balances, which is on the dashboard. And if you click right here to this hyperlink, this will give you the details for your balances. Now, in this case, what it's telling you is you have $27,000 and change in cash. This is a margin account. So you can buy uh, double that 27,000 for a fully marginable stock. And down below here, if uh, this is also a day trading account, so you've actually got four times your cash available for day trading purposes. Excellent. And how do we see what option positions we currently hold? Uh, so those are uh, down below in holdings. So you can see your holdings page here. And uh, what you'll see here is uh, both the uh, options and the stock. We've got uh, the uh, IWM, the QQQ, and the uh, SPY. Now, what you'll need to do here is click next to the SPY here, which will give you both of your holdings. And you can also expand your holdings even further by going right here to your holdings and balances. Great. Now I'm ready. Let's place a stock trade. Great. So you'll notice on uh, just about every one of the screens while you're navigating in the upper right is the uh, quick trade button. So if you navigate up here to the upper right, click quick trade, and that's going to populate, and this is customizable as well, this is going to populate a, a stock symbol. So in this case, what we'll use is the uh, SPY again. Click the uh, blue button here to the right, and you'll notice here we're in the quick trade. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you what the full trade ticket looks like, which is right here. Now what you're looking at is the uh, full trade ticket. Now in this case, again, it's pre-populating with uh, 100 shares, and I'm uh, pre-populating with a uh, limit order. What I'm going to do is uh, reduce the limit a little here so we don't get executed. Preview the order, which is on the right. And what you're seeing here is a preview of your order. If I was to place this order, I would be placing a, a limit for a stock. Excellent. Now, do you mind showing us exactly how to do an options trade? Sure. I don't need to go far. I'm in the quick trade. I can just go right here to the trade ticket, select options, and right away what that's doing is it's uh, pre-populating what's called the option chain for the SPY ETF. Now you've got the full choices of all of the option uh, expiration dates right here by using this dropdown. Uh, additionally, We've got our strike prices right here. And lastly, we can specify, Marie, whether we're going to be buying or selling a put or a call. Excellent. From here, I'd like to know how we place a spread. Good question. Again, we don't even need to navigate off of this page. Uh, you'll notice right here, add option. So if I click this button, 
now what I'm telling the trade ticket is I would like to place a two-legged trade, you know, known as a spread. I can also add up to four legs if I'm placing a, a four-legged option trade. So from here, I simply uh, select each of my option chains, uh, whether I'm purchasing or selling a put or a call, and I'll be previewing the order uh, right from this screen. Excellent. Now let's go back and take a look at what my current options are. What if I have something that I'm not ready to give up on yet and I want to roll it? That's very... So rolling an option. <laughs> Good. Sure. If we go here to our holdings page, you'll see that I have the IWM $125 put. Now that's expiring on the 16th. You told me that you wanted to uh, roll this option. So what I'll do is I will click right here. Rolling means you're selling what you own and buying something at a future date. Uh, or the reverse, covering what you are short and selling something at a future date. So in this case, you asked me to do a roll of something you own. So what I'll be doing is buying Let's show you the full trade ticket here. And I simply add an option. So in this case, I'll be selling the two that I own and buying two new options at a later date or price. Great. Very customizable. I know you showed us how to place a spread, but do you mind revisiting how to place a multi-leg spread or option? Sure. We'll go over that again. So from here, we'll switch to a new symbol. We'll go back to the, uh, we'll try the uh, QQQ this time. Right here, I'm um, set up to purchase uh, just a one-legged option. But if I add an option, there's your spread up to four legs. Four different legs. Yeah. Great. Thanks, Sean. That's perfect. Thanks again for this demonstration. Now I'd like to go back and take a look at how well I'm doing. Sure. Now that you've placed a few trades, you're going to want to look at your holdings. And if you look right here, this is uh, total G&L. That stands for gain and loss. And in this case, what it's showing is uh, uh, a, an unrealized profit on this position here of the Qs and a loss on the SPY and uh, no change on the IWM. Makes sense. And I see those numbers are updating in real time. That's great. Now, how do I go to see my realized gains or losses for previously executed trades? Understood. So this is only part of the picture. So this is uh, the unrealized gain or loss. If you go again to the holdings and activity page, click realized gain and loss. This will show your realized gain and loss uh, for the current year. And you can also toggle to uh, the prior year gain and loss. Perfect. Thank you so much for the demonstration, Sean. You're welcome, Marie. Thanks again for joining us today. We hope you have a great rest of your day, and we hope you learned a little bit more about Ally Invest. Thank you.